maximum margin classifier can be used to classify the data similar to what's shown on the graph. Here, orange and violet points belong to the two separate classes. The idea is to find a hyperplane that best separates the classes. For example, this red line does separate the two classes, and so does this green line, but neither of them are doing it the best. This blue line, however, can be considered the best. So let's see why. The green dashed lines are equidistant from the decision boundary, and that distance is called the margin. The points in the data that touch the margin are called the support vectors. For example, here we have two violet and one orange support vectors. Rest of the training data has to be outside the margin. For this data, the blue decision boundary is best because it has the highest margin of separation. Let's now see a numerical example of how can we find this decision boundary. Basically, to find a maximum margin classifier, we have to solve a constraint optimization problem. We want to maximize the margin with the constraints that the data label does minus 1 ends up on the one side of the decision boundary outside or on the margin, and data label does 1 ends up on the other side of the decision boundary outside or on the margin. These constraints can be written in a single inequality. Let's now solve this constraint optimization problem. First, we simplify it by turning it into a minimization problem. Then, we make the problem convex by using the squared Euclidean norm instead. In X, we have the data points from the previous graph, and in Y, we have the corresponding labels. Now we have everything that is needed to solve this constraint optimization problem using the linear programming solvers such as CVX. In this video, we will use the CVX implementation in Python. First, we import the library. In this case, that would be CVXPy. Then, we will need the data to work with. Once we have the data, we have to define the variables to optimize. Here, the variable A will correspond to the first element of beta. B will correspond to the second element of beta. And C will correspond to the beta 0 as it is shown on the right in the blue. Then, we define an objective function to minimize. In our case, that would be the squared Euclidean norm of beta, or a squared plus b squared. Then, we define the inequality constraints according to the problem. We now feed this problem to the CVXPy and get the values for the variables. If we now plot this decision boundary with these values, we will get a hyperplane that best separates the two classes, a maximum margin classifier.